That's right, that's me, Willie. From the UK! Internet man-child. I'm actually quite scared of heights. And lover of tasty bite-sized morsels. I'm a fan of your work, Norman. As MLB Europe's food critic at large, I'm heading to the US of A on a trip of big bad baseball food business. Mm. Food, folks, and fun! The mission? To create a ballpark menu so delicious, so tasty, that it features at the MLB World Tour London Series in 2023, where the St. Louis Cardinals will take on the Chicago Cubs on June the 24th and the 25th. Starting for the Cubs, right? <laughs> this is Home Plate, London Series menu. St. Louis, Missouri. It's a wonderful place. It's home to the Cardinals and their fiercely loyal fans, but it's also home to some culinary delights. I'm absolutely starving. Let's get stuck in. Stop one on our food tour of St. Louis, next to the Bush Stadium, home of the Cardinals. It's also home to Salt and Smoke, which is the home of St. Louis barbecue. There's a saying in St. Louis, meet me in St. Louis. Here's St. Louis, this is the meat. Hello, Tom. Hi, Willie. How you doing? Good, nice to meet you. This is an amazing menu you've got here. We're in St. Louis, what should I get? I mean, everything is great in St. Louis, but we're definitely best known for our ribs. Yeah, let's get stuck in. Let's go. Wonderful, I'll be right back. Nice one, thanks. We're all about bigger and bolder and more crazy experiences, right? We have this beautiful bark that has tons of flavor on the outside of the ribs that then gives way to this just juicy, tender, moist meat that really there's nothing better than this. Okay, so we've got burnt ends mayo, St. Louis style ribs, a bacon and cheese popover, and some pickles, what have been done in house. And I think without further ado, oh God, it's time to tuck in. I would describe these ribs as a meaty angel, for they have taken me to heaven, but it's not just about the meat on offer at Salt and Smoke. This popover was absolutely fantastic, like a bready Yorkshire pudding. But American. Oh man, eat that. Get, look, film. How good is that? With a big bad belly full of barbecue, I headed backstage to uncover how these ribs are made and to maybe get a few ideas from Tom's secret spice mix. You want it really consistent, right? So on the edges, just as much as in the center. So once again, that conversation of every bite should have the bark and the smoke and the fat and the muscle. You've always been like massively into baseball. Yeah. Do you get a lot of the players yeah. in here? Yeah. What yeah. happens when the Cubs try and come in for dinner? Do you just say no? No, we, <laughs> look, uh, baseball might divide people based on your team, so barbecue brings everybody together. Thank you very much for introducing me to St. Louis Barbecue. Beautiful ribs. Uh, I'm gonna take this information away digest it and we'll see how much of an influence it has on what I end up doing when I get back into the UK. Uh, but from the bottom of my heart, thank you very much for having us. Thank you. Nice one. It's clear to me that Tom and his team know exactly what they're doing when it comes to barbecue in St. Louis, but I am on a mission here and I've got to find out some more places for inspiration. So we're on to the next place. It's stop number two on this wonderful food tour and I'm feeling flustered for some custard. I've come to Ted Drew's, who are the frozen custard specialists in the St. Louis area. It's on Route 66 and it's owned by a wonderful man called Travis, who we're gonna go meet right now. Travis. Yes, sir. How are you? Nice to meet you. Willie, nice I'm to Travis. meet you. Should we go make some frozen custard? Let's do it. And why don't you bring, put a hat on before you come in? Gotta look the part. Free hat. Nice. Good to see you, Willie. Let's come go. in. <laughs> When we get back to the UK, yes. Cubs are playing the Cardinals. I've got to provide some people with food. Do you think there's a place for uh, frozen custard in the UK? Oh, for sure. I think everyone enjoys a sweet, has a sweet tooth and enjoys something sweet after a ball game or yeah. uh, after a big event. So, okay. And we see that happening here. London audience will really enjoy frozen custard, but what you should have, good quality ingredients always. Never cheat on that and make sure you give a smile and quick service to everyone because people nowadays would not want to stand all day to get an ice cream cone. This Fantastic. is one of the most popular Sundays we have. Though. Okay. Ready? Yeah. Mmm. Sweet yet sour tart cherries. 
Hot fudgy sauce. Sweet baby alligator, this concrete custard is amazing. <laughs> that really is good. Wow. What's the process for making the actual ice cream? Well, it starts in a, out of mix, and we have the mix at the back of the machine, so it's frozen it very quickly, and it's uh, squeezed out the front here. Comes out like a little white mudslide. Right, <laughs> that does. Yeah. One thing about it, you get a lot of smiles from it. It's good that it makes people smile, because I can bring this back to the UK, because no one smiles in the UK, because it never, it's never sunny, and everyone's miserable most of the time. Well, I think it's a great idea, then. Yeah, That's I think great. I will. I might bring you back with me Maybe as well, I'll actually. Yeah, that'd be... A, I might need a hand yeah, if anyone else wants to uh, pop Someone. along. I'll take that as a resounding no. Well, I've had a fantastic experience here at Ted Drew's and I've learned about some crazy custard and the tantalising toppings. And I think bringing it back to the UK could be a phenomenal idea, but there's more things to eat and no time for thinking. I'll think on the way to the next spot. Stop numero three on our magical mystery food tour of St. Louis, and we're at Favazza's, which is an Italian restaurant and institution famed for its toasted ravioli. What have we got here then? So it's beef? It's a beef mixture with celery, onions, carrots, spices. It's very tasty. It's called toasted ravioli, but it's really fried ravioli. I'm just thinking, I can see these being something that would be really nice in a bag. Or in a little basket. Yeah, yeah. but with, the, with the, the way that you've got the Parmesan tossed over it and it's all sort of yeah. stuck to it, it's really good. They are served at our, at our stadium, at Bush Stadium here in St. Louis. These ones? Yeah. Wow. Our ballpark, Bush Stadium, has done a great job of integrating the St. Louis food scene into it. So I hope that that happens in, in London. To meet a man like Mark Favazza, who's so incredibly passionate about both his food and his baseball, and it seems to be a common theme running throughout St. Louis, that everyone's a Cardinals fan and everyone loves to scran. But there's more scran to happen, and I need to go and eat it. St. Louis is a city filled with culinary surprises. The ribs, delightful. The frozen custard, a classic. And the toasted ravioli was by far the toastedest ravioli I've ever had. I finished the day with one last roadside dish, the St. Louis style pizza. Square cut. Seems weird, seems inconvenient. Not sure I'm happy about it, but the taste test is important. Oh, good. Pizza's always good, and I'm enjoying this. Can I say it's not my favorite? Join me in episode two as I dive further into the world of ballpark food. I'll be watching my first ever baseball game, the Cubs versus the Cardinals. A tasty preview of the London series. Oh my God, the power, the sheer power, the power! As well as getting the scoop from baseball fans and of course, sampling the Cardinals ballpark menu. This is literally just the beginning.